56 yards, gun culture guy here. Gun culture guy. All right, 56 yards and sun's going down. It's, it's Christmas. It's not Christmas Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve. And spaghetti western time. Oh, yeah, the Wild West is here, folks. We're gonna, we finally got that barrel on. You can see it's a little more golden. A little gold color to it. Um, well, it's actually like a little gold, too, don't it? But anyway, uh, that is weird. <laughs> I've seen too much gold here. Anyway, here, uh, got the 22, and then we're going to go with the uh, Kiger. Um, I shot this a few times. So, gonna put this to the test, and then we're going to do uh, all open sights. Everything's open sights, folks. Old school. And the TZ-75 camouflage edition. Yes. All right. Let's get at it. What did I say? 50-some yards? Get that metal plate out there. I put a little bit of a, a fingernail polish. Kind of the bright stuff. All right. See if they hit that metal plate thing. Yes, it's off to the left. This is a left shooter. And low. It's awfully low, so I'm going to uh, aim a little higher and to the, and, uh, okay, we're close there. Off to the right. And off to, okay. So, yeah, it's shooting to the left. So it tends to shoot to the left, I'm seeing. And we're going to just continue to go to the right. Aim to the right, that's right. Okay, we got six more to go. Let's see if we can get this thing down right. Now, off to the right. That was close. Off to the left still. Man, that was close. To the left. Uh-oh. Now that! That had to be <laughs> definitely a squib. Did you hear that? That was just like the lowest pop. We got a squib, folks. This ammo is something else. Now I got to get a rod and pound it on out. That is just something. Cannot blow through there. That, that bullet is... Somewhat stuck inside, I can't tell. How far to go in? And these things are kind of tough to get out. I gotta get a rod, metal rod, and just uh, WD-40, spray it in there, hammer it. Wow. So, this is that cheap ammo. And I'm getting a few squibs every once in a while with this stuff. Uh, very disgusting, how's that? It ruins the range report, yeah. All right, we're going with the nine millimeter. And it's getting dark quick. Tiger. And we had a light strike. But this is my Turkish ammo. It actually hit pretty hard. Try again. There you go. Off to the right. I'm right there, I'm right over. Oh, I hit that wood. Off to the right. Oh wow, I was right there. But just high. It's a high shooter. Oh, well, let's get this last round in there. Throw it down the pipe. They've had a fire again. There you go. It might even been a hit. That one went off. Oh, oh that was awfully low. Hi. Oh, that was close, right? Oh, right over it. Right to the right.
got it. We got it hit, folks. And the TZ-75 did it. This does not stay open in the last shot. But uh, pretty good shooting for the TZ-75. You know, they're both fairly accurate, both of these guys. So there you are. One squib and one hit. <laughs> Look like that. This metal is strong, okay? Look at that. Just made it very much of a dent in this thing. So, nine millimeters, ah, that's Turkish ammo. I'm just really shocked how little penetration that is. I thought it, we're talking, it's gonna take a 308 to go through both all this stuff. Wow. Uh, one hit here, high. This is an old hit, so that's an old, well, actually, Kind of knew it. I think a 22 hit it. So there you are. Wow, pretty thick, pretty thick uh, aluminum that is. Didn't even, didn't even make, barely even made a dent on it. That's amazing. I, I thought it would go through. 